Well, here it is, my Easy Build EDF Little Glider. My Little Glider conversion number seven. Right hand launched and it's flying beautifully. Before taking a good look at the EDF version, let's take a quick look at the previous conversions. This was number one. A single brushless motor at the front end and I made a complete build blog, which I'll link at the end, which has now had 40,000 views. Then there was the twin engine version, which absolutely flew beautifully. Build blog for that's also on there. You've seen my biplane. You've seen my little Vulcan which also flies beautifully. It's almost hands off. And there was the twin boom version, which actually didn't fly very well. So what was missing? Yes, an EDF version. So 45 mil EDF, I'll put a link to that below. But the question is, before we take a closer look at this, did it fly well? Let's take a look. Right hand launched and it's flying beautifully. Yes, look at that. Not even having to trim. That's pretty much hands off. Half throttle and it's hands off and just so beautiful to fly. Very relaxed. Now I'm only using a 460 milliamp 3S for this test flight so it's going to be pretty short because the EDF draws, draws a fair amount of current. Right, well I'll chop the throttle, see what the glide's like. I think I've got the COG just right. Almost hands off, a bit light, so even in this light wind it's being thrown about a bit. Glides nicely with the throttle close, I'll get some height. Full on, oh full on, it will almost climb vertically, full on. Shut the throttle. That's shut the throttle and glide down. Flies nicely. Let's bring it in for a landing. Well, that was far more successful than I could ever have dreamed. Oh, lovely. Well, as you saw there, it absolutely flew beautifully. So let's take a closer look at the construction of this one. First thing to notice is I left the dihedron, which made it very relaxing and easy to fly. Had plenty of power with this 45 mil EDF, partly because I've kept it really light. I've got no, no carbon in it at all. That kept the weight down. Probably my prettiest and best build yet. What else to say? First thing to actually say, which I found most interesting and difficult was, if you're building a conventional motor on the nose type conversion, you can have motor, speed controller, battery, and obviously receiver. With an EDF, because the unit is here, you've got the power leads for the EDF coming through this way, wanted to keep the speed controller well away from the receiver so I had to put this up front plus I've put a little cooling scoop there and the air can come out underneath here as you can see maybe you can't see but the air can flow through here so logistically it was a bit more difficult to figure out how to actually put the components in worked out okay I've had to tuck the receiver tight right up there which just goes hollowed that out quite a lot I'm using an 800 milliamp 3S which just tucks in nicely there as you can see and that puts the COG just about perfectly at 55 60 mil from the leading edge I think that was perfect but as you can see in those in that clip it absolutely flew like a dream so what else to say all the detail of how to make ailerons and so on are on that other build blog of mine so I'm not going to go into great detail about that or how to make the elevator it's all on that first build blog 
which as I said has got 40,000 views which is amazing. To get the COG right I deliberately put the elevator servo in the tail. I wait that was the very last servo I fitted. I've also made a nice groove along there which hides the lead for that. A bit of um, crystal tape over it and black felt pen. You can hardly see that which I think is a success. It's probably the neatest build I've made of a little glider but it is number seven so I guess it should be. I've inset the servos here so that when you're landing on grass it doesn't snag anything and as you can see the ailerons are inboard quite neat here I had a bit of crystal tape on there for extra strength not much else to add really I'm just well pleased with it it flew better than I could imagine I guess if I was being braver I'd have taken out the dihedral and maybe even shortened the wings a bit to make it a really speedy machine but maybe that that's the plan for EDF version number eight but I hope that's helpful what else to say not a lot I've got a model finder there that's why there's a hole there and as I said the ventilation for the speed controller there it flies well at half throttle it wouldn't quite climb vertically with this little EDF one last thing to say positioning the EDF I wasn't quite sure where so I kind of guessed a position and the thrust line is neutral straight along the fuselage and it seems to work fine on that. This is a temporary measure, this little cable type is for a bit of extra security. Now I know that it flies well, I'm going to make a little foam board support that goes in there. In fact, this is a little insert. This is this was made after that bit of video, but I didn't really talk about how I mounted this. As you can see, I've taken off my security cable tie, but all I did here was hot glue this onto a bit of foam board actually quite firm but now what I'm going to do as I think I mentioned is I've made a little template I'm going to cut a little bit of foam board for both sides and glue that just there now if you're going to do this obviously I'll leave that bit there but that will just give it some more security if you are going to do this I highly recommend you take a bit of really rough coarse sandpaper and roughen up the shiny plastic surface here and on there so you get a really good adhesion with the hot glue but that's straightforward enough and of course this is basically a brushless motor so the three wires that go through just go through a hole in the top of the fuselage straight through there burnt a hole to do that right done plus I've cut a little bevel so that, that will give it a much better surface to attach to the EDF and to attach to the fuselage so basically it's going to go like that right so there you are a bit of black felt tip pen on them and they'll be invisible right well there you are then finished black marker pen looks a hundred times better and it's very secure yeah that'll even take a knock much better looking than with a cable tie across there but let's get back to what I was saying I did a watt test with the EDF and the 850 milliamp battery came out to about 100 watts flat out or 35 watts half throttle which equates to about five minutes flying if you're lucky full throttle but it is, does equate to 130 watts a pound which is massive three times as much as you need for that or probably eight and a half or ten minutes mixed flying at half throttle which is not bad at all anyway that's the story hope you found it useful or interesting it was my first venture into using EDFs and I've got a plan actually to build a foam board Vulcan or F22 so look out for that one. If you have enjoyed it check out some of the other vids. The build blogs for all those littles conversions are on my channel and why not hit subscribe and keep up with what I'm doing. But that's all for now anyway. Fly safe, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.